today we're doing our pasture renovating. I've got a nine shank Corsicana renovator. I've been out here a few hours already, still got a ways to go. It's a long, slow, tedious process, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Uh, all we're trying to do is to cut the ground just a little bit, put slits in the ground just to break up that top crust, just so the roots have a nice place to grow and they're not wasting their energy being root bound and trying to make room underground and they can use their energy to grow above ground. So that is what we're trying to achieve here. Dad's got a seven shank across the road. He's trying to uh, get those smaller fields done so we can make a little time. And I'll kind of show you what, what this looks like. Really doesn't look like a whole lot, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be pretty beneficial. We normally do this late fall, early winter. This is our first time doing it in the spring. And so we're a little nervous about it, but I'm hoping it's gonna turn out pretty good. So that's it. It's not very dramatic. It's not very exciting video, but hopefully if anybody is wondering what else they can try to maybe benefit their uh, crop, renovating might be a good possibility. Uh, we do everything recommended from our soil samples with our lime and our fertilizer. And last year our hay just was not as thick as it had been in the past. So this is one thing we can try. We don't do this every year. We just try to do it when we notice the crop kind of dwindling a little bit when you don't get that good ground coverage. So it might be becoming root bound. This is just something you can try. I hope it works out. I hope our timing works out. Like I said, we're a little anxious about it, but uh, we'll let everyone know how it does, what we like about it, what we don't like about it. Plus I'm finding some cool stuff out here. And um, so I'm gonna get back to it. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. of the smaller fields that we cut this is one of the fields that we don't burn and we did the same thing on uh, these two fields that we don't burn that we did with the rest of them we ran the pasture renovator across it came back ran the cultipacker across it and that seems a little counterintuitive you just loosen the topsoil and then you run the cultipacker back over it seems like that would kind of pack everything back down hard but it really doesn't. It just kind of pulverizes the dirt clods on top, rolls those dirt clods and root balls kind of back to the soil, really gets your roots back into the soil where they need to be so they don't dry up and die. And everything really looks pretty good. So I'll let y'all see kind of what all that looks like. And you can see the slits right here, right here, and, and so forth. 
and dad was using a seven shank renovator back here and it really turned out pretty well so it didn't leave too much of a mess on top of the ground and it's probably still going to put the zingers on the disc mower first time we cut but i think once we get past that first cut and it's going to be really nice so just another idea something else we tried so if you were kind of back and forth on trying that yourself i don't think it turned out that terrible so just wanted to share that with everybody mm -hmm.